Welcome to another review of the Metalhead box, this time for July 2019. Very awesome. Uh, they've been going for about two and a half years now. Now, the Metalhead box, it's a subscription-based mystery box that you can get every month. It's got all kinds of different metal items. Uh, shirts, patches, autographs, CDs, tapes, things of that nature. Go check out the website and see all the different subscriptions they've got. You can choose a primary genre and a secondary genre. The last time I did one of these Metalhead Box videos, I decided to change up the scenery a little bit and do it outside on my uh, sex swing. It's a swing I use where I sacrifice virgins to Satan himself. Which is me, by the way. But I'm gonna do it this time in here because it's so damn hot out, even though the summer's almost over. And since the summer is almost over, it's still gonna be hot enough for a little while to warrant one of these. A Scream Bloody Gore water bottle. Yeah, we got Scream's head right here, the Scream Bloody Gore thing on the back. And what I like about this is that there's not as much condensation with ice water as much as there is with a Red Solo cup. So it holds the water pretty well and uh, doesn't leave any weird marks on your table. Drink from the Goblet of Gore! Tribute pens have been a thing that the Metalhead Box has been doing for a while, and so we are at number 16, Creator's Violent Mind. Mmm, cool. With terrible certainty, he'll lead a violent revolution. But if he's an outcast with a pleasure to kill, that might be a cause for conflict. Anyway, great detail and great coloring right here. Kind of looks uh, cartoonish. It kind of looks like there's a gingerbread man cookie cutter and a cabbage patch. Among the CDs included, we have a death metal band, Dippy Gus with their album Death Ooze. Yeah, Dippy Gus, ever heard of Dippy Gus? You know how when you dip your nachos into cheese and it tastes really good? Well here, you dip your metal into gore and it's really awesome. <laughs> I mean, just look at that artwork, it's really awesome. Seven songs right here, clocking in at 35 minutes. Now all you Tool fans out there who are bitching and complaining, oh, we're getting seven songs and it's 85 minutes, hey, they're also giving you two filler tracks, so maybe don't be so entitled. Anyway, this right here, it's got more of a swamp and jungle vibe right here. Think Autopsy. It's like a death and doom band, maybe more of a doom death band for those who are really picky about descriptions. Pretty badass stuff from Santa Cruz. The other CD that was included was by a band called Nucleus with their album Entity. Now as soon as the album opens up, I'm reminded of the stenchcore sound made by Stormcrow. But then the band comes in hard, and it sounds a bit like Pungent Stench meets Voivod. You know, with all the sci-fi stuff involved. It's a very spacey album. Even the artwork, it looks like the Enterprise right here. Plenty of great twin guitar attacks, and the drummer knows how to not be monotonous. Um, then you get to songs like Time Chasms, which is death metal in space, obviously. The Metalhead box used to have paper fold-out posters. Well, those have been replaced with these fabric posters right here. We've got Dissection, Anti-Cosmic Metal of Death. Oh yeah. Now, Dissection has this design on patches as well. So if your battle vest already has the back spot taken, hopefully you have enough wall space to represent the Storm of the Light's Bane and Swedish Black Metal. We don't have an autograph this month, but we do have a shirt from a pretty gnarly band, Opprobrium. Um, dictionary definition, a harsh criticism, and as a death metal band, it's Incubus 2.0. When I refer to Incubus, I'm referring to the death metal band, of course, not the alternative band. When the death metal band Incubus broke up in the 1990s and got back together in the early 2000s, they decided to change their name to avoid confusion with the alternative band. Also another little fun trivia for those who are into doom metal. Uh, Pete from Druidlord was the guitar player for Incubus before they got signed to Nuclear Blast, and he quit before they got signed. <laughs> Big mistake on his part. But yeah, um, this design right here, it's Curse of the Damned Cities. Yeah, curse those damned cities. They put out probably 97 different versions of their classic albums such as Serpent Temptation and Beyond the Unknown. Both cool albums, some versions with re-record guitars, some versions with different artworks, blah blah blah. But it's all pretty cool stuff, and Incubus is an underrated death metal band. Alright, well that is it for this month, so thank you all for sticking by me and watching, and thank you to the Metalhead Box for sending this over. Um, I got some exciting new videos coming out in the next little bit. Um, 
One is going to be the long-awaited review analysis on Lords of Chaos. Oh, a storm's a brewing. I can see the comments right now. Oh, this movie's for fucking posers. And then other people going, oh, well, the movie wasn't that bad. I'm going to try to be fair to both sides because I can understand why people would like it and why a lot of people wouldn't like it. Believe me, I'm going to be fair to both sides. Also, I'm going to do another ministry video. Um, a lot of people seem to really like my filth peg video that I did uh, a couple weeks ago. And the next video I want to do on Ministry is on Dark Side of the Spoon. It's perfect. It's such an obscure album that debatably the fans know the least about. So, it would be perfect to do a video on. The problem is that the album is so obscure, and by that point, Ministry was considered last decade. Um, not many interviews exist from that era. Not online, anyway. So what did I do? I went to eBay and found actual magazine interviews from 1999. A couple magazines were kind of worthless, but I found this one guitar magazine. It was perfect. Now I can do a video on it. Go follow the Instagram page, go follow the Facebook page, donate money on Patreon if you choose to do so. I've also got shirts and magnets available for anybody who wants any. You can order some shirts on Amazon, or you can buy them directly from me. I've also got hoodies, and I've got long sleeves available. Uh, magnets are only five bucks a piece, so come hit me up and grind on.